Hello everybody, this is Stannis here, and today we are back in The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. In the last episode, we took a visit to Dompe's shack and finished up all the business we still had left on Koholint Island. And in this episode, we're finally going to be taking on the Windfish's Egg. Before we do that, let's just... Take a calm, serene look at all of this. It's been quite the journey. Well, not the longest LP we've had. Uh, this has been more kind of bulky, I guess. It took me about a year to do this LP, just a few more days than a year. I'm recording this on the 23rd, which means it has exa been exactly a year and three days since this game came out. At least this version of the remake. And yet, I still feel like uh, this game could have taken longer to do. It's so weird that we're already 100% done every already. Now, that being said, there are some things that you cannot do in this version that you could do in Link's Awakening DX for the Game Boy Color. This was a uh, re-release of the game made for the Game Boy Color. The original version was on the Game Boy. And in Link's Awakening DX, first of all, the game of course supported color. However, Link's Awakening DX also had a photography shop. The Photoshop was an area where you could purchase, or not necessarily purchase, but the vendor of the Photoshop basically took pictures of you at, at random moments in the game. And a lot of these pictures are really funny, so I'm just going, I'm, just, I'm going to be courteous enough to go ahead and show those on screen right now, because these... Picks are exactly where, are exactly, uh, what you can kind of find in Link's Awakening DX. Uh, Link's Awakening DX itself, well, you can probably find an aftermarket version on something like eBay or a used game store sometimes. I would be surprised if you did find it at a used game store, though. However, you can also find it on the 3DS eShop, which is still open as of the time of this recording. Um... To my knowledge, though, it isn't available legally anywhere else. Alright. This is the last look we have to take in this town. And, with that all done, we're gonna pull out our ocarina, play Mambo's Mambo one last time, and we're gonna teleport to Dompe's shack. Alright, now, time to stop being all calm, it's time to get our work done. We are about to face the final challenge that Cole and Island has to offer us. So let's get to it. Oot, the windfish sleeps long and dreamily in the egg above. When you play the eight instruments of the sirens in front of the egg, he will awaken. This, my friend, is the only way for you to leave the island. A few parting words of wisdom from the owl before we finally awaken the windfish. Let's go ahead and Take out the Ballad of the Windfish, and play.
time has come. The windfish awaits. Enter the egg, Hoot Hoot. Alright, this is the final pseudo-dungeon of the game. It's not really a complete dungeon in the sense that there's not really much of a real challenge you're facing here. Now, we're going to go through this dungeon. And you're going to notice something odd. We aren't really going anywhere linear. Yep, that's right. We have something like the Lost Maze here. So... Kind of confusing, right? So what we're going to do... We're actually going to warp away. I know, kind of an anticlimactic. Coming all the way here to the windfish's egg. And then suddenly, we're going to warp away to do something. But trust me, this is going to help. Uh, I'm playing the wrong song, I just realized. That's why I didn't warp. Alright. So you're gonna go ahead and warp, uh, not to Mount Most Pond, but go ahead and warp to the Ufuku Prairie. And, you're gonna wanna go ahead and head all the way to the library. We have not gone there since we've done the color dungeon. So it'll be quite interesting to see what that place has in store for us. But trust me, it is very important. Go ahead and head on in. Alright. So, this book right here is the one we want to check. Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Koholint. Do you really want to read it? Yes. Round and round the passageways of the egg. Right, 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 right. Up, left, left, up. Hmm, this book reeks of secrets. Indeed. So, in case you had made the guess, and it's a really easy guess, the order we're going to take the passageways of the windfish's egg in are right, 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 up, left, left, up. It's very simple, and to my knowledge, it's randomized every time. However, I'm not 100% certain on this. So, you may have a different path, most likely will, for when you take on the windfish's egg. So... I highly recommend you visit the library to figure it out. So, we're gonna head back all the way inside of the egg here. And just like the library book said, we're gonna hop right down. Take an up first. And now, we're gonna go right. 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 Right, up, left, left, and up. And we've finally found the final area. Let's hop in. We were born of nightmares. Take over this world, we made the windfish sleep endlessly. If the windfish doesn't wake up, this island will never disappear. We would have been the masters of this place. But you had to come here and disrupt our plans. You can never defeat us. Let's rumble! This is the final boss of Link's Awakening. I... He actually has a varied attack pattern every time. So, what you want to do... Is just go ahead and avoid these bounces right now. To my knowledge, you can't hit him in this current state. Just avoid him as much as possible. Right. I believe this is the case. I'm not 100% sure what... Oh, yeah. The number of bounces increases each time, so just continue evading his attacks, and eventually he will change phases, to my knowledge. 
We did four twice in a row there. So right there he just did five. He's gonna do five again. Three, four, oh. One, two, three, four, and five. Now one, two, three, four, five. This part of the boss is extremely simple. It does get harder, trust me. You know, I'm actually a bit confused. I feel like we're supposed to be doing something here. Ah! Hit him with your magic powder, I completely forgot about that. So, once he bounces close enough to you, you want to go ahead and smack him with some of that magic powder of yours. It actually does damage him, and now we've moved on to the next phase. Phase 2 of Nightmare is a copy of Aghanim from Link to the Past. Go ahead and just reflect his uh, shots at back at him, and it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Those ones that swirl like that you can't deflect, which I forgot. Uh, also, be sure to actually deflect them. Real quick, we are going to go ahead and consume our fairy, because we've lost quite a few parts here. And we didn't deflect that, but we did avoid it, so that's at least okay. Well, he's going to fire another one of those at us. Go ahead and avoid that to the best of your ability. As you can see, I still got hit by a bit there. And I apparently don't have very good perception of what he's sending flying at us. Alright, hit that one back. Like I said, this is a copy of the Aghanim boss fight from Link to the Past. This is uh, basically a product of Link's nightmare since, fun fact, Link in this game is a cop is actually the same exact Link as Link from the Link to the Past and the Oracle games. I don't think everybody knows that, so I thought that was a bit interesting. Which is why Aghanim is in this game. Uh, Aghanim is a part of Link's nightmares due to his past encounter with him. And now, we have a different form of Moldorm here. This is exactly the same as the normal Moldorm boss fight, so just go ahead and move on with it. However, the last part of it is evidently a bit crazy, so go ahead and just hit him as best you can, and he'll move to the next phase once again. This! I am out of heart. So, another connection to Link to the Past. Link now sees a nightmare of Ganon. Now, as you should know, Ganon was not a main character or, or main villain of this game. That still rings true. Ganon is not an actual character in this game. Now, I believe... no. I am at a bit of a loss at remembering of how to beat Ganon, so bear with me here. I'm going to try putting bombs at him. That does not work. Boomerang is the next thing I'll try. Alright. I don't remember in all of this boss fight, and I've never actually fought Ganondorf in A Link to the Past. So, in terms of what to do for that boss fight, I am a bit... Uh... For lack of a better term, not very well... Ca uh, caught up on that regard. Alright, so we're almost dead, but we do have the magic cream to go ahead and keep us alive if the need arises. So, we've tried just about everything that we can for this Ganon phase. So, at this point, I would say we're gonna go ahead and actually try this. No. I should have done some research before going into this fight, because I actually don't remember what to do for this fight at all. Yep, there we go. There's our magic cream going to action. We're gonna go ahead and... Try just about everything we got now. Alright, so we can't hit these keys here. 
All right, I'll be right back. All right. So, when he throws his trident like this, you're actually going to want to dash attack at him. Only spin attacks and dash attacks will do any damage to Ganon, so go ahead and just use those to fight him. That is the best suggestion I can give you presently. I recommend the dash attack because it is the easiest to execute. And, it seems like we dealt quite a bit of damage to him in that one go, so he's going to go ahead and move on to the next phase already. I believe we are going to need magic powder to... Uh, what's going on here? The nightmare boss fight can actually be kind of confusing. So, bear with me here. I'm going to go ahead and try the boomerang now. What about the bow and arrow? Oh, arrows do it! So, whenever he comes at you, just shoot an arrow at him. And now we're finally moving on to the final phase of the boss fight. This is the true form of the boss fight. Whenever he opens his eye, you just shoot an arrow at it, and you'll be fine. This is by far the easiest phase of the boss fight. So, uh... Not much of a reason to bid you good luck for this part, because it's extremely easy to do this part. Alright. Kind of reminds me of a pendulum, the way he swings his arm back and forth. I'm pretty sure he just loops it entirely around his body, but it looks kind of like they're knocking against each other, which is kind of interesting. Alright. We're running low on health, which is not good. We gotta be a bit more consistent with our jumps. Oh! This island is going to disappear. Our whole world is going to disappear. Our world. Our world. Link, you have beaten all the nightmares. Climb the stairs before you. Hero, you have defeated the nightmares. You have proven your wisdom, courage, and power. As part of the Windfish's spirit, I am the guardian of his dream world. But one day, the nightmares entered the dream and began wreaking havoc. Then you, Link, came to rescue the island. I have always trusted in your courage. I knew that you could turn back the nightmares. Thank you, Link. My work is done. The windfish will wake soon. Goodbye, Boot. I am the windfish. Long has been my slumber. In my dreams, an egg appeared was surrounded by an island with people, animals, an entire world. But, verily, it be the nature of dreams to end. When I dost awaken, Koholint will be gone. Only the memory of this dreamland will exist in the waking world. Someday, thou may recall this island. That memory makes the dream world real. Come, Link. Let us awaken. Together. Play the eight instruments. Play the song of awakening.
Thank you.